And joining me now from Melbourne is the Vice Chancellor's Fellow in Economics at the University of Melbourne, Professor Ross Garno. Professor Garno, the Prime Minister has described the situation facing the budget as urgent and grave. How would you describe it? Oh, it's certainly grave, uh, Lee. Uh, we've been spending uh, the uh, temporary largesse uh, from the resources boom since it began in 2003. Uh, that has led to uh, expenditure levels and cost levels in Australia uh, substantially higher than is sustainable in the long term. Uh, in 2004, I described the situation we were in as the salad days. Uh, I said that we should be saving 2 or 3% more of uh, GDP in budget surpluses or we'd end up in the dog days when the resources boom ended. So basically, from what you say, it's both sides of politics' fault that we're in this situation? Oh, no doubt about that. Uh, we've been spending uh, too much uh, ever since the terms of trade started to rise, uh, with the sole exception of the year after the depths of the uh, global financial crisis. Are we headed for a recession? Uh, that depends on, uh, on policy. It depends on how the Reserve Bank manages monetary policy. It depends on how uh, the government uh, handles fiscal policy. It depends on the, the community's preparedness to uh, join uh, governments in uh, productivity raising reform. It depends on whether we can uh, accept uh, restraint all round uh, in the interests of uh, avoiding a recession and avoiding high unemployment. What do you think are the fiscal policy levers that the government should pull? Uh, the most important uh, uh, levers are actually economic levers. Uh, our cost level is uh, far too high uh, uh, in the aftermath of the resources boom. Uh, our exports of everything other than uh, resources uh, have actually been falling in real terms uh, for, for a number of years. Uh, after a, a very good period of growth uh, 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 before the resources boom, uh, we're not getting uh, any investment uh, worth speaking of uh, in the, uh, uh, the export industries other than resources. Now that resources is coming off the boil, uh, we've got to uh, get those other engines going again. Amongst other things, that's going to require a big improvement in competitiveness. We keep hearing about the pressure that the high Australian dollar is putting on the economy. Is there anything that can be done about that? Uh, yes, yeah, so that, that's an important part of the story. Uh, what matters is the real exchange rate, the value of the dollar and what's happened to our inflation compared with other countries. Taking those two things together, uh, our real exchange rate is way too high. Uh, the resources boom did that, or rather spending the income from the resources boom uh, over the past decade uh, did that, and then it's been taken to new heights uh, by the exceptional monetary policy in other developed countries as they've sought to drag themselves out of recession themselves. They've done that by having interest rates at extremely low levels. Does Australia need to follow suit, in your view? Uh, well, interest rates at extremely low levels, and uh, that's been augmented over the last uh, uh, couple of years in the United States and over the last uh, six months in Japan uh, by uh, what's called quantitative e easing, special uh, policies to uh, push out into the economy huge amounts of money, which has had the effect of uh, reducing their exchange rates. Uh, I think our interest rates need to be lower in current circumstances. Uh, that needs to be part of, uh, uh, of a broad-based strategy to improve our competitiveness. How is it possible that the revenue predictions um, have proved to be so far off reality? Uh, I'm not on the inside of the uh, revenue predictions, uh, uh, Lee, but uh, clearly uh, the uh, extent of the, uh, the, the downturn in uh, the uh, resources revenue uh, wasn't anticipated and probably the slowing in the rest of the economy as a result of the resources boom wasn't fully anticipated. Do Australians need to anticipate a fall in their uh, standards of living? And if so, practically, what does that actually mean? Well, I, I think that we are going to uh, experience a large uh, depreciation of the currency. That's part of 
uh, the, what's necessary to improve our competitiveness. Uh, but uh, you don't get an improvement of competitiveness in competitiveness if the dollar falls and uh, incomes rise to allow us to uh, spend in the same ways as before. Uh, so we, we need to uh, all accept uh, that uh, a lower dollar shouldn't be fully compensated in uh, nominal expenditure in the budget or uh, the nominal incomes uh, that uh, we receive. That sort of restraint is very difficult uh, and uh, it's only ever possible uh, if the community as a whole accepts uh, restraint all round, uh, in including uh, recognition that uh, uh, disadvantaged parts of the community uh, uh, need to be considered in that adjustment. So, for example, if you have a baby, perhaps you can't expect the government to give you a payment for that? Uh, I, I don't want to get into individual uh, uh, payments but across the whole level of government expenditure there needs to be uh, a reduction in real terms across the whole level of incomes uh, after tax uh, there needs to be a reduction. Professor Garno, thank you very much for making time for us tonight. Thanks Lee.